Hi everyone, so I'm very excited to announce to you that we have a brand new all-in-one Chrome extension. So if you've been familiar with self-publishing Titans, you know that we had our Titans Pro Chrome extension, this one right here. And then we also had our Titans Quick View Chrome extension, this one right here. And what we have done now is combined both of them into one big powerful Chrome extension, just to make it that much easier for you to use it and to get that much more benefits out of the extension and also just to simplify the whole process for you. So I'm going to quickly show you this extension and what it looks like. So the way you can find this, by the way, is just on the Chrome store, just type in self-publishing Titans and then you will see all three of our extensions. You're welcome to continue using these two extensions. We're going to continue updating them and giving user support to them. But this is the one we're going to recommend that you use from now on and uninstalling the other two, just to make it easier and better. And this new Chrome extension is getting a lot of updates and a lot of upgrades coming very soon. So you'll definitely want to have those as well. So let me show you what it looks like on Amazon. So the way this part of the extension works is that if you type a word into the search bar, so for example, Sudoku, then you will get a big pop-up screen with all of the Amazon search suggestions from Amazon itself. And then here you are able to click through to see search results for any of them. Here we have our estimated search volume for every month. And in these results, these are the competitors. So showing you how many competitors there are for each of these niches. And then our popular demand and opportunity scores. And the demand score is just telling you how in demand a niche might be. And these range from uh, values one to nine, nine being the highest and then one being the lowest. And then the opportunity score is the same thing. It goes from uh, numbers one to nine and nine being the best and one being the worst. And the opportunity is a algorithm that we created to help you determine how easy it might be for you to not only get sales for this niche, but also to rank on page one, which is obviously the ultimate goal. So the ideal scene is that we have an opportunity score that is high with a good demand score. So the way these coloring systems work is anything five and above is green. And the higher the number, the more green it becomes. And then the same thing as the opportunity. So we want to find ideally something that has a demand of at least five and an opportunity also at least five or higher. And here scrolling down, we can see how useful this is. So here, for example, Sudoku puzzles for adults easy. A lot of people will assume that this is saturated. But if you look at the true data here, uh, this has an estimated monthly search volume of 5,338, but it only has 3,740 competitors. So that is really low, especially these days. Maybe five years ago, there was a lot more uh, hot niches that you could easily find. So having these kind of tools to really find these niches is just so much easier and faster now with having this data to hand. And with our search suggestion expander like this, we show more keywords as far as we are aware than any other alternative available. So that's one thing that we're really proud of. You'll see so many keywords with us. And the best way of using this part of the extension is typing in a really broad keywords. So keywords that have one words or two words or three words. The shorter it is, the more suggestions you will uh, be able to see. So start broad and then start narrowing in on a niche, okay? And then once you want to see a niche to kind of inspect it more and to confirm it, you would end up on the Amazon search results page. And then here is where our other part of the extension shows. So when you first look on this page here, you will once again see the demand and opportunity scores that you saw in the uh, search suggestion expander. And then here, you're going to see how many search results there are on page one. And an exact match is how many uh, of these products on page one are using the exact match that you typed in. So six out of the 48 results have Sudoku book in their title or subtitle. So this is really good for research. And then independently published, these are books that are published uh, through Amazon KDP. So these are self-published authors. And it's always good to see that there are many on a page because if other people were able to do it, then you have just that much more likeliness of also making it yourself. And if there was zero or maybe one, it would obviously show that it is much harder to rank on that page 
with a Amazon KDP book. Uh, so always keep that in mind. And here we have the bestseller rank data. So we can see the average bestseller rank is 40,000. So we can see the lowest one is only 200. And then the highest one is 200,000. You can see the average reviews is 900. And the highest has over 8,000. And then scrolling down here, we can see how many products have 50 reviews or less. So here we can see that 12 out of the 48 books on page one have less than 50 reviews. This is just useful data to see how easy it might be for you to rank on page one, because obviously books that have lower reviews would be easier to compete against. And then here, just another metric, we can see how many books have five or less reviews. And we can see that there's five books on page one with five or less reviews. So that's also a really good indicator that it's not too saturated yet and too competitive. And then here you can also see the, the most commonly used words in the titles and subtitles. This can also just help you for your title research. And then scrolling down, we can see uh, this box pop up here. And this will just give you more data like the bestseller rank for the overall books category and then all of the subcategories. And this will work for any product. So this is good for Amazon FBA, for Merch by Amazon and Amazon KDP. And then you can see that this has the estimated daily sales as well as the estimated monthly sales and then also the estimated royalties. And if we want to see a BSR graph, we just click on that. And here you are able to see uh, the bestseller rank, the list price, the new price and the review counts. So the review count is something that we're really proud of. And we are the only extension that shows you long-term reviews for every single product on Amazon. So this is not only just books, we will also show you all of this data for any Amazon product. So with our extension, you get more data than any other extension available. So make sure to take advantage of that. And the reason we show you the reviews data is because then you can also get an idea of the launch strategy they might have used, whether they got a lot of reviews during the launch period or just a few, or if they get reviews organically, naturally, just over time. So it's really cool to look at that. And then obviously with the bestseller rank data here, the purple line, the lower it goes, the more sales they're getting. So here at the peak here, this is when they had the lowest sales. And then down here, this is when they were getting the highest sales. So you can also just see how a product is doing over time. So we think you'll find that really useful. And then next, Amazon has a lot of different category pages that I'm sure you're aware of. And with our Chrome extension, every single category page will bring up this data here and it will tell you the bestseller rank for the top books in each of the categories. So you can see how easy it might be to rank in that category or to become a bestseller in that category. And then here it will also tell you data about the reviews just so you can get a little bit of a better picture of how competitive this category and niche might be. And then here you can also see the average sales for these books on this category in the top 50, and then the average prices, the high price and low price. And once again, we have this beautiful box where you can see the bestseller rank for the main category. For the subcategories, you can see if it's independently published or published with a publishing company. You can see the estimated sales and you can also show a graph here. And then last but not least, the other cool thing that we have when you are on a search results page is you can click on the Titans Deep View button right here. And then after a few seconds, it will finish loading this page. It will take a few seconds because we're gathering data on 100 of the top competitors for this niche. So we're getting you the images, we're getting you the titles, we're getting the categories, the price, the reviews, the ratings, the rank, and estimated sales, as well as the most uh, commonly used keywords in all of your titles. And then up top, you're going to see the average price, the average review, the average rating, average rank, and the average sales. So give it a few seconds and this will load for you. But this is really, really useful if you're trying to do a really deep dive analysis on a niche and to really study your competitors. This will be really useful for you. Yeah, so this is basically it. And then with this extension, you can also click on the download to download all of this data. And then same thing with the Chrome extension here. You can also download this data. So yeah, I hope you find this extension useful. Let us know what you think about it. Give it a try. And if you have any suggestions, 
suggestions for future tools or future upgrades, please let us know in our support chat on our website. We are here to help you and to make your journey with Amazon KDP the easiest possible and as successful as possible. All right, so I hope you enjoyed, and then I'll see you soon. Bye.